How important was that to not just get a win, but to hold on? Yeah, obviously, like I was, I was saying before, we've had a few unfortunate results um, where we've conceded in the last few minutes. So I think it was good to see that the boys really resilient and kind of held back and we got that clean sheet at the end of the day, which I think it had defence really needed for confidence-wise. And like I said, now it's just a matter of momentum. We, can we keep that going, stay consistent? So, can you feel can you feel the sort of tension or that you know from the stands a little bit at that moment well, because of what's happened before? Yeah, obviously yeah. there's been a lot of pressure on us, but I think that we've we've managed it quite well. And obviously today we we shown that we've got that quality and we've got that fight in us to hold out and get and scrap a result. So obviously we're buzzing with the three points and hopefully more to come in the next few weeks. When you think out of the team midweek and then come back, what does that do for you? Come back yeah, obviously, you obviously you always want to be on the pitch, right? Whether you're rested or what, or it doesn't really matter. Um, like I said, I just I was so eager to get back on the pitch. Obviously, it was, like I said, well rested, and I was just flying to come to come back in. And I knew I just had to give 120 percent. And like I said, a lot of running today, but obviously we got the result. So they, that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. It looked a really physical game as well. A lot, a lot of niggles and everything. Yeah, of course. Kilmarnock are a very direct physical side, one of the most physical in the league. So we just had to maintain that and figure out the way they played. And I think that the analysis we've done before the game really prepared us well. And um, nah, I can't say more than three points is three points. So. Key, you said yourself in an international break then, with a victory. In yeah, exactly. That, that's, that's what the gaffer was saying. He said, you feel miles better going into the break um, with three points. And obviously, I was lucky enough and I got selected again for the Soccer Roos. So be joining Boiler again, which is always a great experience and I love travelling and it was going to be back back home in my home country, so not Sydney, but Melbourne, so it was close enough, I'll take it. What will we get minutes then in your, in your home country? Yeah, look, going back to Oz is, is a dream, honestly. I, lo I, I loved it there, I loved playing there, I loved the lifestyle there. All my family and friends are there and I think a few of them are going to fly over as well. So, like I said, it's, yeah, it's a dream to play for the Socceroos and be back home. Will you fly back? You sit next to Boiler on the I certainly hope not, no. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's very energetic, but yeah. I, I, I'm assuming we'll be next to each other unless he's upgraded himself to first class, which <laughs> I'm sure he has. I guess all that justifies you coming here and everything, doesn't it? You know, this, nah. It keeps on justifying itself. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, it's just a matter of me performing week in and week out. And Graham Arnold said it's all about getting minutes and performing for your club. So I just have to maintain this performance, this consistency and... The better the team does, the better I do. The more I'm in the spotlight, and the, I will just progress and progress. So. You've obviously played under the manager before. What kind of relationship do you have with him? Yeah, he's like my dad. <laughs> like uh, I've I've been with him since the Mariners Academy, and I've said before in interviews, it's, it's, it's a tough love. Like he's going to tell you when you're out of place, and he's going to tell you when you're doing the right thing. But then the day I listen to how he wants me to play and his philosophies, and like I said, the team's going to fly, and I'm going to fly individually. Is that kind of your dad, he knows when you're taking the victory. Well, that's what I'm saying. He, he knows who I am as a person. So I think um, he knows how to keep, keep me in line <laughs> and behave. Um, and like I said, he, he's he been a player himself, so he knows exactly what he's talking about. He's played at the top level. So like I said, there's a lot of respect for him at this club and as it, as, as it should be. Um, and like I said, we're just going to follow him step by step and trust the process. And I think that we'll get wins down the line. Slap your wrist for that booking at the end, then. Ah, <laughs> look, yeah, it was a little bit heated at the end there, but that's always going to happen, right? Especially with such a physical side, so, but yeah, there's nothing to it. Win to win. What was it for? Ah, just a few, few heated <laughs> words amongst one another, nothing more than that. Does that come back to the, you saying it was a quite an niggly game? Was that kind yeah, of exactly, like I said, well? yeah, exactly. It's just a physical, physical team, and there's always going to be a bit of that backlash, isn't there? Especially in the Scottish League, such a physical, competitive league, and everyone everyone's expecting three points. You don't know which way it's going to go on the day. So, look, we're just happy with the three points at the end of the day. You've been in, sorry, you've been in really good form this season. But looking back to last year, how difficult was it then moving from your home in Australia to a completely new challenge and lifestyle? Yeah, yeah, it was a massive, massive transition, wasn't it? Coming halfway across the world, leaving family and friends behind. So, obviously, it took took a lot of time. I had to gain uh, Gaffer's trust and my teammates' trust and. I just waited it out and eventually got my opportunity. And once I get my opportunity, I knew that I had to perform. And like I said, I think I've been doing well this season. Now it's just a matter of maintaining it. How, how do you cope with the travelling and the plane? Have you found that? Has that been something that you've 
to kind of learn. I, I, lo I love traveling, to be yeah, honest. Right, yeah, yeah, really love, really love going to new places or even obviously back home. It's just that kind of that feeling that you're in that football world, which is like obviously as a kid you dream of going to different places to play football, and I'm just lucky enough I get to go back home. And fatigue and all that tiredness and the, and the, and the length of journeys. That, you know, yeah, obviously it's a bit of a factor, but um, the strength and conditioning coaches and uh, have, yeah, have sent me plans and stuff right. that I can do on the plane when to sleep and what exercise to do while right, yeah. in stopovers and stuff like that. So it's it's a very professional environment, and like I said, I'm glad to be there and hopefully I can stay there. Bangladesh and Melbourne, yeah. Yes. And then you Kuwait for Palestine. Yeah. Yes. Correct. What do you know about that? I'm not too really sure about all the the small details, but yeah, I just know that we're playing Kuwait, um, playing in Kuwait against Palestine. So, at the end of the day, we just need to go out there and get a win, and hopefully carry the form that the Socceroos have been have been doing for the past few years. So, yeah.